Having trouble with navel orange worm in the orchard? Sidetrack, now miso mating disruption is your best bet to minimize loss and maximize profitability. Used with Tresse's new multi-gender lures for your monitoring program, you can achieve the quality yields you deserve. Contact your local sales rep today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Ag Network reporting to you here today with Mohamed Yagmor from the UC Cooperative Extension Orchard Systems Advisor. wanted to talk about crown gall, which can be quite a problem for almonds and stone fruits. It caused quite a bit of tree loss in orchards and wanted to talk about this disease, some preventative measures growers can take to avoid it altogether. Crown gall is a bacterial uh, disease that is caused by agrobacterium termophaceans. If we are planting almond trees or uh, stone fruits in general in an infested soil, all right, so uh, there is a good chance that our newly planted trees can get the disease. Also, it's important that uh, to know that sometimes the d this disease can come in uh, on an infected plant material from the nursery. However, as we know that the, the nurseries, they have strict policies, so the opportunity of having this disease coming from the nursery is uh, very low. Either way, all right, it's always important uh, to understand what this disease is doing to the trees. First of all, uh, on young trees, it will cause stunting, and they can, uh, on stone fruits mainly, they, they grow on the root system restricting the root growth. Also, it can grow on the crown area and can cause uh, structural integrity for the trees. I had the chance to see an orchard that is heavily infested with crown gall. That orchard was actually suffering from many trees uh, that are lodging on their site, and the grower lost quite a bit of those trees uh, due to uh, crown gall. Also, a crown gall uh, can uh, cause an opening court for secondary root rots and wood rotting fungi to come in and cause wood rots. So it's very important actually uh, to avoid having this disease. And actually, uh, preventive measures is the most successful ways to manage this disease. So in a nutshell, okay, we try not to have the disease from the beginning at all. Sometimes we plant in an infested soil. So we know from the biology of the disease that this bacterium is infecting the roots and the crown area through wounds. So as I mentioned uh, in the previous talks, one of the most important thing when we are planting a tree is to dig it, a, a hole big enough to accommodate the roots and not a prune the root system to accommodate the size of the hole if, when we are planting. If we are pruning the, the roots, which we are not supposed to do, then actually what we are doing, we are creating an entry uh, for the bacterium to the root system. And let's remember, the, this bacteria, all it has to do is to transform the plant tissue to keep that uh, goal growing and going. So the other uh, thing is it's always important to inspect the trees before we plant them. Uh, remember, uh, this uh, disease can uh, come also on infected plant material from the nursery. So it's really worth to choose few trees, look at the root system. It will not only help with the crown gold, but also will help us to see if we have other uh, soil-borne diseases affecting the root system. Uh, so, so this is another important thing. The third important part in, prevent, in preventive measures or preventive management for crown gold is we can use a, a, a biocontrol. Galtrol, all right, uh, it's a biocontrol. It's actually using a different strain of agrobacterium tomifacients. It's called uh, K84. And what uh, this uh, uh, biocontrol agent is doing is producing antibiotic that 
control the bad agrobacterium tumefaciens that is causing the crown gall. The third thing is if we are replanting in uh, a soil infested uh, a ground or we know we had a problem previously in, uh, in an orchard with a crown gall, then also uh, it's worth looking at the rootstock. It's important to know that you know, uh, the peach rootstock uh, level is very susceptible. And if we are going also to compare peach almond hybrid uh, Hansen and uh, compare it to Nemagard, then Hansen or peach almond hybrids is, are, are considered more susceptible when we are comparing them to Nemagard. So that also may help us in managing this disease is to take a more of uh, an integrated uh, approach trying to combine more than one thing to make sure that we don't have the disease from the beginning at the young age in the orchard. Thank you, Mohammed. Read more about these things in our publications, Pacific Nut Producer Magazine and California Fresh Fruit Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.